Hi everybody, this is Evan Leonetti from the Roseburg ODFNW office again, and today is our last day with our winter steelhead, so our egg to fry tank behind me. We're going to actually take all the fish out of the tank, we're going to put them into a bucket, and we're going to transport them to a local creek here, it's called Deer Creek. It's about mid-June, usually we'd have most of these fish out and in the creeks by the early June, but we wanted to hang on to these a little bit longer just so we could do some videos for you guys. Uh, they're looking really more like fry than ever. They're almost, most of them have absorbed all their egg sac, so they look just like a fry. There's a few that still have their egg sac, so they're a little bit far behind, but hopefully once they get into the creek, they'll be able to uh, kind of develop the rest of the way and then start eating some natural foods. So we'll uh, pack the tank up, we'll pack some fish up, and then we'll see you down at Deer Creek. Okay, everybody, we made it down to Deer Creek, so that Deer Creek is right behind me. Uh, we're gonna release our winter steelhead. We have about 75 of them left in varying stages, so they look pretty good. We'll try and get some underwater uh, pictures of them being released as well. But I wanna talk to you guys a little bit about habitat. We had Nancy Geyer with us not too long ago, who talked a lot about the needs of fish and their habitats, right? So we're gonna show you some pictures of the, the different habitats. So as you can see here now, there's some uh, large wood debris in the creek or logs or sticks. There's also a lot of overhanging plants and there's uh, some nice cool water. So we're gonna take a water temperature as well. So the importance of, you know, make sure that it has logs and overhanging uh, vegetation that helps protect them from predators and the cold water makes sure that they're gonna be nice and happy. So we took them out of an environment where it was about close to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't wanna put them into water that's a lot warmer, otherwise they might die. So we gotta make sure that we're getting them into nice cold water. So here we go. Okay, and you can see the temperature is up there in the upper 60s according to this thermometer. So we're gonna take, actually it's yeah, close to 66 to 67 degrees. We're gonna take a temperature of what's in the tank here. Maybe our thermometer might be a little off. So you can see that our temperature is in the upper 50s, about maybe 56 degrees. So Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to dump a little bit of the water out. Dump a little water out, we'll add a little more water from the creek, and that'll kind of acclimate the temperature. Okay, so we mixed some water together. We retook the temperature of the creek. The creek's actually closer in the uh, deeper parts. It's closer to 63, 64 degrees. Our water in our bucket is now a, really close to that, probably about 63, 62 degrees. So it's really ideal kind of an exchange. Uh, for them to go from a little bit cooler water to a little bit warm water should be just fine. So we'll try and get some video of them being released. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll uh, hopefully talk to you again soon.